this week is going to be insane as far as sneaker releases as much as we sort of feel like it's been really slow in some times and there's not really a lot of like bangers dropping this week's going to change all that man so get ready to spend some money Hey listen, last night we hit 14,000 subscribers on the channel and I gotta tell you what man, like I got a little bit emotional like because I never really thought that I would make it this far. I never really thought that I would have 14,000 subscribers on YouTube. I didn't think that um, you know, I would meet so many cool people like fellow content creators or even you guys that, you know, busted up with me in the comments or on Discord or, you know, Instagram or whatever. And I'll tell you what, man, I've met a lot of cool people. I wouldn't trade this for anything. It's a ton of work, man. Um, a lot of hours go into this and um, I'm just really thankful for all you guys. And uh, the next time you guys see me celebrate something, we'll be at 15,000 subscribers. And we're giving away a sneaker at 15,000 subscribers. Any sneaker, any size, up to $500 in value. So go ahead, man. Keep supporting. Keep hitting that like button. Keep hitting that subscribe button. Share the videos out. And when we hit 15K, man, I cannot wait to give you guys a sneaker. Thank you for all the support. All right, so this week, Nike and Jordan Brand are coming for our pockets, man. They are coming directly for our paychecks, our tax returns, um, our side hustle money, all that, right? Because this week we have three really hyped releases, three hype releases that's guaranteed to be an expensive week. Even if you hit all three for retail, it's gonna be a very, very expensive time. Now, on Wednesday, May 22nd, they're dropping two bangers. Starting out, we have the SB Futuras. Now, I know several people that already got like an early W on those through raffles. I put in for a ton of raffles. At this point in time, I have not hit on a single one. And this limited kind of release is one of those ones that it's not gonna be easy to obtain. There's not a lot of stock out there. It's gonna be a sneaker that everybody goes after. And I'm really excited to see like the SBs actually, you know, have like a hype sneaker because when I was looking at that release calendar earlier in the year, even though I'm not the biggest SB guy, I do pick them up from time to time. Um, I didn't really see too many out there that was really like I would say like a must cop. This was one of them and you know, this is gonna be limited guys. It's gonna be tough to get and they're doing a draw for this on the Nike sneakers app So you already know what time it is. It's not gonna be a heavily stocked sneaker Like the early rumors from what I'm hearing is anywhere between 15 and 30,000 pairs total stock for this sneaker right here Hopefully there's a little bit more than that out there, you know when you factor in you know the the raffles and the retailers that are releasing them along with the nike sneakers app hopefully you know it's a good enough amount of pairs that i can see a lot of w's out there when the sneaker officially releases and then dropping at the same exact time wednesday at 10 a.m eastern standard time the j balvin air jordan 3 rio will be officially releasing with the retail price tag of $250 and this release is supposed to be really limited as well. If you look back at a lot of the collaborations that J Balvin has had with Jordan Brand, the ones, the twos and the threes have all been pretty limited. The ones had like almost no stock at all. The twos, I'm not exactly sure how limited those were. I know that they were limited, but that release really wasn't as hype, didn't really have as much attention as the one and the threes did. And then last year's, um, I'm gonna say it wrong, Meta Ian Sunset, that one only had like 10,000 pairs. A lot of people walked away from that release with an L or multiple Ls. You know, it was just really limited. I expect the Rios to be probably just as limited. If there's anything more than 10,000 pairs, man, that will be awesome. Uh, keep a close eye on the J Belvin website because they're supposed to be doing some kind of early release thing and also drop them on you know his official website for the actual release so you know between the j belvin website any raffles that you've seen open and the nike sneakers app you know you do have multiple chances to cop the sneaker for retail but it's gonna be a tough one man if you're lucky enough to get a w on there man buy yourself a lottery ticket that's for sure now, as you guys know, Outrank brand is my go-to whenever I need gear to match my sneakers. And I do want to let you guys know about an exclusive drop they're doing next Tuesday, May 21st for the KD4s. And I'm already wearing it right here, as you can see. And they're going to be dropping a whole collection for that sneaker where it's going to be shirts, shorts, you know, hoodies, hats, things like that. It's going to be dropping on Tuesday. It's going to be exclusive. It's limited. Once it sells out, it's not coming back. They normally don't restock. So if you're interested in picking up that KD sneaker and you need some fire gear to match it, go see my guys over at Outrank Brand. And then on Friday, we have another banger drop and we're supposed to see the official release for the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 and the Elkin and Canary Yellow and Blue colorway. 
And at the time of this recording, they're not yet on the Nike sneakers app for some reason, and I'm not exactly sure why. They wait till like the last minute to put Travis Scott's on there. Maybe it's to build hype, I'm not really sure. Uh, but the sneaker was supposed to drop last Friday on the 17th. They pushed it back a week to the 25th. So it's, we're sort of like in wait and see mode. I really haven't seen like any raffles open up guys make sure you guys are you know signing up to our discord there's going to be a link in the comment section below to stay up to date on all the raffles all the information that comes out everybody in that discord is helping everybody out man so it's good to see so make sure you guys tap in with us over there um but this one also probably going to be limited i know we're hearing that it's going to be the most stock ever for a travis scott sneaker at 150,000 pairs but like 150,000 pairs even for a Travis Scott is still limited. It's still gonna be a sneaker that's probably gonna be really tough to cop. Um, the Nike sneakers app and some of these raffles are probably gonna give you the best chance in order to get it for retail. Um, when it comes to, to the Travis Scott website, man, I don't know how I feel about that anymore, man. Like I really don't wanna pay it that much attention, but you know, I feel like they have to release some sneakers this time. I feel like we're gonna be seeing some people actually hit on that website just because like the PR and the publicity and you know all the you know Instagram comments, all the YouTube videos, it's really shed like a bad light on his releases. So I don't know if I really like trust it fully, I'll be honest. Like I don't really put much stock in getting a W on there. You know, I guess we still have to try to put in for it, but you know, let me know how you guys feel about that, man. Um, do you guys want me to go live this week if they do a drop on the Travis Scott website or are you guys just going to ignore it altogether? Like, I don't really know what to do. Should I cover the website or not? You know, because if you guys want me to, I definitely will. Um, but just let me know how you guys feel about it down in the comment section below. I like the Elkins, man. I like them. Um, it's a women's exclusive, so whatever you guys are gonna do as far as like trying to cop, make sure, you know, you guys, if you're a man, you go up 1.5 size on all your raffles, all your entries, um, because, you know, it's a woman's release, so, you know, we're still gonna be trying to cop, men and women, still gonna be a tough sneaker to cop, and, you know, I just wanna wish you all the best of luck, and, um, I'm sure we'll be making more videos on that as the week goes along. But guys, like I said, it's gonna be an expensive week, man, like, even if you get a W on any of these sneakers this week, it's going to be a major W. You know, I'm going for all three, the SBs, the J Balvins, the Travises, all sneakers that I like, would love to get in my collection. I know a lot of you guys are going to be interested in picking them up as well. Um, so let's just stay tapped in with each other, man. Let's just, you know, hopefully get some Ws this week. And, you know, I just want to wish you all the best of luck. I'll see you guys all real soon. Thank you guys for 14,000 subscribers. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. For more sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.